So, Mr. Zephaniah, um, you say that you're uh, a vegan, so eating in China must have been pretty tricky. I tell you, a lot of people say that. Um, and not when you know. The first couple of times it was difficult. I would recommend a website called happycow.net. Put in any city that you're going to and it will give you all the vegan restaurants there. And it's amazing how many vegan restaurants are in Beijing and Shanghai. And the other day I was telling you about um, Yon Tai the temple. Yes. yes. Not a lot of people know this, but not far from Shaolin, there's another temple called Yong Tai Temple, Yong Tai Stun. And this temple is actually, in terms of the people, it's, it's all women there, by the way. It's, all, it's named after the princess. And it's absolutely vegan. And they have authentic Chinese monks or nuns there. And it's just down the road from Shaolin. And, and I'm always surprised that not many people know it. But I discovered it by accident. The taxi driver took me there. But in Beijing and Shanghai and some of the bigger cities, Sometimes if you say the word vegan, they don't know what you're talking about. But if you ask for, if you can speak a bit of Chinese, the, the, the true Buddhist food, they will know exactly what you're talking about. Um, so it's, 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 it's not as difficult as a lot of people think. Apart from their heritage, shall we originally? Originally, and also, you know, they do this thing with a lot of fake meats. And a lot of people don't like that. And I never used to like it. Why would we want to imitate meats, you know, and have fake fish and stuff like that. But when you understand that there was a vegan emperor of China, <coughs> I think he's the only emperor in China that never went to war. And never ever went to war. Anytime he had a skirmish with somebody, he went and spoke to him. He said there is no way to peace, peace is the way. And um, he wanted China to be vegan. And so he employed the best and cooks and chefs of the day to come up with this vegan cuisine which would taste like meat and look like meat but would be completely vegan and that's where you get this fake meat from and like I said I used to be against it but once I understood that story I kind of went with it because you just have to understand the culture but it's, it's, it's really not so difficult to see when you get to know time.